So this is called tooling foil. So we are going to use this paper, this newspaper cushion underneath. That's really important. If you do this on the table, when we go to make our designs, it's just going to kind of press back because of that hard table and your designs will not press into it like you see mine here. So you wanna make sure that you're working on top of the newspaper that you are given. There is this line sheet that we've used in a couple different classes um, to help you with some ideas. If you can't think of any ideas for your trees, you can always just decorate it with some lines. So before we decorate our trees, the first thing we need to do is make this into a triangle shape. So the easiest way to do that is to find, and you don't have to, you can use one of the colors, you probably won't have any black Sharpies. Um, so just use like a darker color, like a purple, blue, or um, red. And you're going to try to find the middle of the top of your rectangle and make a dot. And then from the corner of the bottom, the opposite side from the corner, you're going to cut from that corner up to that dot. And then this is just scrap. Please be careful. Don't worry about like crumpling it up or anything. Just kind of throw that in your scrap bin. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other side. So cutting from that corner to the dot, making yourself a triangle. So now I have my triangle shape. So it's just like a, a nice little tree shape. And what we're going to do from here is draw some details. You can decorate your tree however you want to. These are just some ideas if you're like, oh, I don't know what to make. So I just did some horizontal lines. I did three horizontal lines on the top and then I spread out some swirls and then made some zigzag lines. So you decide how you want to decorate your tree. So maybe I will do some curving lines kind of connect and go around my tree this time. So I'm pressing hard into the foil so it's making these creases and you can see, you can decide which side you want to be the front, which side you want to be the back. Okay, so I've got some zigzag lines. Now I'm going to draw some shapes for what I'll say are my little abstract ornaments. So I'm going to draw some swirls actually. So you can see the design of my tree and I can decide whether I like the side that has the designs pushed in or pushed out. Then once I've decided, I'm going to put my name on the back. So once you have your name, your designs are pressed into the tooling foil, then you can start to color with a Sharpie. It will come off when the Sharpie's wet. When the Sharpie is dry, it stays on. So you do have to be careful not to pull it up with like your, your fingers, so the oils in your skin kind of absorb it. So just be careful as you're coloring. You can color kind of like putting color all over like I did, or you can just color in certain areas to make it look like little ornaments or whichever, however you would like it. see I decided to go back in and add um, more designs on this corner it was kind of bare so I added a few more lines and then I decided to decorate inside of my lines using the sharpie in the lines and adding a little bit more sharpie colors so you can see how different these can be so we're all starting with this triangle shape but then you can decorate your ornament however you like so then we will get these hole punched and get the yarn through so that they can go on the tree